In this section I'm going to talk about isotap and this is kind of creating a dynamic tunnel between two or more rudders and, and uh, we do not have the restriction to use a specific prefix here. You can use any prefix but there is an algorithm that creates the second part of the IPv6 address. You do not need to know about that but I'm going to talk about the algorithm. When you are creating the isotap interface uh, you create the interface, you assign a prefix, a 64-bit prefix, for example, you type IPv6 address and the address is going to be, for example, 2001 colon 13 double colon slash 64 this way you tell the interface to create the IPv6 address automatically. The second part of the IPv6 address is using uh, the EUI64 algorithm to be created. But you know about EUI64, I have explained it, but you should know that here EUI64 is working uh, differently. Here it is going to check IPv4 address and it's going to convert it into hexadecimal and then it is going to add some uh, some other hexadecimal values to create a 64-bit host ID part. It adds 0005FFE and when it adds these uh, 5EFE of course I guess 5EFE and then you can see the converted parts is added. So when I convert, for example, if uh, the IPv4 address is 1111, it is going to be converted like this 0101, 0101. Of course, you know that the preceding zeros are, are going to be omitted, and these zeros are going to be, uh, you know, replaced with only one zero. If there is uh, another active that is zero connected to this, you can use double colon instead of this and and this is going to be the second part the host ID part of the IPv6 address that is going to be created automatically so you do not need to touch anything here but you should see that this is the second part so let's go to in, in to router one on router one I'm going to go to configuration mode and remove the interface tunnel 13 that I had created previously here I'm going to create interface tunnel 13 again but this time what I'm going to do is to change the interface I, uh, to change the interface type the, the tunnel mode to isotap so I just type tunnel source lapex 0 and this is going to use lapex 0's IPv4 address for the extension so the tunnel mode is going to be IPv6 IP and this time I'm typing IZHAP and now I need to assign the prefix just the prefix not the extension so I type tunnel I, I type IPv6 address for example 2001 I'm going to have 13 here double colon slash 64 and type EUI 64 and hit enter now I want to check the IPv6 address that is created using isotap algorithm here. So show IPv6 interface in brief. Now you can see this is exactly the same IPv6 address I, I have uh, calculated here. You can see that. Okay. Now again I'm going to use a route. So let's go to router 3. First of all I want to go to router 3 and type configuration so no interface tunnel 13 instead I'm going to create tunnel 13 again the tunnel mode is going to be IPv6 IP uh, IZTAP uh, the tunnel source is gonna be loopback 0 and it is going to have an IPv6 prefix of 2001.13 double colon slash 64 using EUI 64 algorithm. Okay, now let's show IPv6 interfaces and see the IPv6 address. I'm going to take this 
and and because this is an isotap tunnel it knows uh, what the IPv4 address of the other side is gonna be so let's go to router 1 and here I type IPv6 route and this IPv6 route is going to to reach to the other side for example on the other side I have um, to oh, oh, 001 uh, for example 13 and anything on the other side uh, for example 3 slash 64 this is going to be reachable using this next hub IPv4 IPv6 address so I hit enter and the same thing should be on the other side but this is going to be used on the other side so let's go to router 3 and type IPv6 route and I want to reach to 2001131 double clone slash 64 using this next hub now let's add uh, uh, an IPv6 address to look back zero. You see that this is the IPv6 address that I have here. I'm going to remove it and 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 replace it with with something with this prefix. So I go to interface look back zero. I can have multiple IPv6 addresses, so I do not remove that. IPv6 address is gonna be this, but here I add a one, uh, I add a three here, and uh, that's gonna be three here. So I hit enter, and on the other side, if I go to interface look back zero, I'm going to add IPv6 at the sub two o o one thirteen one double colon one slash sixty four here. Okay, now it is time to test this. I use this, go to the other side, and issue a ping, and the ping is quite successful. And if I source it from my loopback zero, again, that's going to be successful. That means that the other side knows about my loopback interface as well. So you see, the IZTAP algorithm is quite easy. I used uh, a static route, but you can use routing protocols and and reach to the other side. And in next section, what I'm going to talk about is a dynamic multipoint VPN connection.